cars here. Yeah. Testing the radio. Did you go here? Christina did. Okay. Check the check.
Methodist Church. Behind the mask, my name is Pastor Christina Turner, and I am joined here with our Sundays at 6 and Worship on the Water Band right here. And so they're going to introduce themselves in just a second, or Carrie's going to introduce them. But um, before we get started, I am just so glad that all of you are here. And so I'm wondering maybe if you feel comfortable, roll down your window. If, uh, or just kind of get up near the glass and wave to the person next to you <laughs> and say, Peace of Christ be with you. We've got some awesome Santa hats. We have, I think, one, two, three golden doodles. Is that right, Heinz family? Okay, we've got a Jester Santa hat in the back. And we have, uh, let's see, I think the Lackey family. Wave for us. We've got your Santa hats. Um, and we are so glad that you are here. Um, Justin and Carrie and um, Nick all have stuff on there. Carrie, what does your scarf say? It says, I've been nice. And I've been naughty. So but we, I've been nice. We're going to keep it on the nice side. <laughs> um, but we've got some lyrics for all the songs we're going to be singing. It is the first Sunday of Advent. And so if you don't have those, we've got a couple copies up here, and you can come get them from us. Um, or you can pull it up. If you go on the church Facebook page, there's a Google Doc. So if you've got your smartphone, your little internet machine, you can pull it up there. Um, and we are on 87.7 FM if you want to do that. And you can close your windows, sing along in your car, and no one will hear you sing. It is like your greatest joy or your worst nightmare. Um, but hopefully you can hear us also um, on the microphone. So if you have some problem with that, then you can just roll down your windows. So let's see, anything else we need to say? I think that is all. Um, other than the fact that we are here every Sunday at 4 p.m. over on the little park here to the left. So if you like the music, um, then you can come and worship with us anytime. We got masks on and we are right there on the water every sunday when there's not rain so all right well honk one more time if you are happy to be here and all the rest of you have been dragged here and you are miserable and so that's okay um but let's let's pray as we worship god through songs together dear god thank you so much for this advent season God, we thank you so much that we can worship you even if it is in such a weird way this year. God, we thank you for music and for the Bible, for the good news that is the same even when everything changes. God, today we thank you for the Advent hope that we have. We pray that you would help us to hear your good news so that we can go out and spread it to everyone we see. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. First song this afternoon is a perfect Advent song called Come Thou Long Expected Jesus.
Amen. I can tell y'all we're singing good. So give yourself a honk on the back. Um, Carrie, you want to go ahead and introduce yourself and our band here for anybody who hasn't yet met you and Nick? Sure. Um, my name is Carrie, and this is Justin, our banjo player, and Nick, our bass player. So we are so grateful. We um, um, continue to lift up our prayers and thanks for Annie Jewell, who used to lead this awesome band and who is studying music in Scotland. But Carrie Lober and Nick Lober have stepped in, and so Carrie is our fearless leader. And we are grateful for them as well as grateful for their mother in law, who is at home <laughs> watching their very own baby Jesus, who is how old now? Six weeks old. Six weeks old. <laughs> So we are grateful that y'all are sharing your gifts of music with us. I'm sorry, I keep embarrassing oh, you, it's but okay. I love yes. him. You we, can talk we about yeah, him all the time. yeah, we like we like having a baby <laughs> Jesus around here. Um, today is the first Sunday of Advent, and. Um, if you haven't um, celebrated Advent before, Advent is the four Sundays before um, before what day, Tess Perry? What day, Catherine Shosick? What day are we getting ready for? Christmas. Christmas. You see, I didn't even ask them. I didn't even I put them on the spot. So we're getting ready for Christmas. Advent means coming. And so it's four Sundays to get ready for the coming of Jesus, our King. But we're also getting ready for the coming of Jesus at the end of time to put all things right. And so our scriptures today, we're going to listen to two of them. We sang one Advent song just now, but we're going to sing a lot of Christmas songs because those are just ones that we know a lot better, aren't they? So, but right now we're going to live in an Advent moment for a second. And so we're going to hear one scripture from the book of Isaiah and then one from the book of Luke. So this comes from Isaiah chapter 40. Comfort, oh comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term. Her penalty is paid. She has received from the Lord's hand double. A voice cries out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up and every mountain and hill shall be made low and the uneven ground shall become level and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All people are grass. Their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers and the flower fades when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength. Lift it up. Do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. We're going to read one more scripture, and it comes from the book of Luke. And this is a story that may be familiar to you because it is about an angel coming to a young woman named, anybody know? A young woman named Mary, yes. And so there is an angel that comes to her. This is from the book of Luke chapter one. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and wondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor, David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. Friends, this is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. And now, let us sing. Away in a manger. <laughs>
hear you guys raising your voices out there. I love the honks. That's fun. <laughs> Next song is Angels We Have Heard on High. I want to hear lots of glow. I know that's everybody's favorite part to sing. So belt it out. Nobody can hear you. last year awesome. so thank you for thank you for our elves our special angels for helping us out so all right Carrie what do we got next the first Noel Ooh, good favorite
That's so fun. I love it. <laughs> All right, silent night. Go ahead and turn on your headlights and pretend like you're lighting a candle. There you go. I see some lights here. Joy. 
is the new clapping <laughs> but Sydney said that this was her favorite one so hopefully you're gonna like the next one too but just to let you know if you haven't I'm trying to unhook my mask here okay there we go um, if you haven't picked it up uh, we have some um, advent kits for you or for your family if you are I'm gonna take one home for me and my kitty cat even though I don't know how good he is at making luminaries but it has some cool stuff in there. It's got an advent calendar. It has an advent devotional book. It has, what else does it have in it? Um, I don't know. You don't know? Some glow sticks for Christmas Eve at home. A little manger scene to have for you and a kindness calendar for a different act of kindness to do every day in December. So we hope y'all pick them up. We'll take one for you guys to take home to Luke. So that's over there. And we also have so many awesome things coming up on December 20th. We're going to have our first ever journey to the manger and it's going to be around here at this time. Yes, we are excited already. Um, and it's going to be a drive through in a way that you have not seen it before. So we hope that you are going to come to that. And we also are going to keep worshiping outside in the morning and the afternoon until the weather and the good Lord says no. So if, if it is warm and not raining, we're going to be out in the park at 9 a.m. And over here in the little South Channel Park at 4 a.m. So we hope that you will come join us. 4 p.m. Yes, we will not be there at 4 a.m. No. no, no, I will not be there at 4 a.m. Um, and yeah, and also if there's anything, uh, if y'all would like to give or feel led to give, we got an offering box over here, or you can give at rightsleyumc.org or on the app. And that just helps us keep worshiping and um, keep giving. Um, and one last thing, I said one last thing and it's seven things ago, but we are trying to just kind of have a big blowout for missions this uh, Advent and Christmas. And so we just finished up Street Turkeys of Wilmington um, to help give food to the food bank. And this week we would love for you to adopt an angel through the Methodist Home for Children Angel Tree. So if you want to do that, it's all on a sign up genius and you can see it on your e-blast or on the website or on the Facebook or Instagram. And so we would love if you want to go shopping for a good cause. Those are due December 7th that week. So um, yeah, I think that is about it. But now before we sing our last song, um, let's go ahead and just say and say an Advent prayer together. And then I invite you to say the Lord's Prayer with me. So let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you that you were promised to come to us and that you do come to us in every moment of every hour, of every week, of every year of our lives. God, we thank you for the way that you come to us in the voices of people in need. We thank you for the way you come to us in children, in animals, through music, through the wind and the rain and the sun. God, we pray that you would instill in us Advent hope, that God, you would give us hope, not hope that is just optimism, but hope that is reliance on you. God, we pray for everyone who is suffering and everyone who is sick, especially those who are sick with COVID or those who are helping to care for them. God, we pray for everyone who doesn't have enough food to eat, enough water to drink, or has people or who does not have people to love them. We pray for teachers and for students, for parents and for kids, and for everyone who feels so, so lonely right now. We pray that you would come to them, Lord Jesus. And Lord, we pray that you would help us to prepare room for you in our hearts. We ask these things in Jesus' name, and we pray his prayer together, just as he taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 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 We got one more song. All right, let's sing this one nice and loud. Go tell it on the mountain. Yes. I knew you'd like this one. It's your favorite. I like this one too. voices. Um, thank you so much to Carrie Lober and Nick Lober and Justin Lacey on banjo over here. We are so glad and we're going to be singing some of these songs throughout the season the next couple weeks so you are invited to join us every Sunday at four. Um, but for our blessing I am just going to read to you the last refrain that we just sang. And so maybe you can say it with me. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills, and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. So Jesus is not born quite yet, but we are looking forward to it in hope. And we are so glad that you came to carol in your cars with us. And if you haven't picked up your packet, go ahead and come over here. And we hope to see y'all next Sunday morning and next Sunday afternoon at 4. Go in peace.